Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, I wanted to come on here and kind of prime you and get you ready for uh, my plans for the evening. My plans for the evening is to get you guys to touch and agree with me in prayer on behalf of the things that's going on in the world, on behalf of the state of Texas, on behalf of the state of Louisiana, on behalf of those that just have no clue of uh, what's going on right now. Um, just to touch and agree and listen. I'm not really an intercessor. And what I mean by that is, I mean, I'm an intercessor at heart. But there are intercessors in prayers, intercessors in prayers that are spiritually gifted to tap in and intercess and hit on every key. I mean, it's amazing. Intercessors are, are like, the way I look at it is if they unzip when they're praying. They're unzipping, and they're revealing and making known and making their their requests made known to God. Everything is 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 coming open and is being exposed. That the, the the I mean, they can really dig in. And then as they're closing, uh, if if there's more than one intercessor on on the phone or in in the church or wherever it is, as they close, and it's like. They, they they zip it up, and they go in with pack punch, and it's done. But I said all that to say this. The Lord Jesus made it clear that it's, it's really not about the eloquence in how you pray. It's all about coming from here. And I don't know about you, but I know that I have a heart for the people, I know that I have a heart for the Lord Jesus Christ to serve him with all I got. I have a heart to pray when I'm being unctioned to pray. It is, 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 is not the time to see who could pray better than another person. I mean, all I need right now is for you guys to touch and agree in prayer. Just reach your hand out to the screen. And, and 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 while I'm praying, because you know I'm I'm like I said I'm not a true intercessor, but all I know to do is be led by the Holy Spirit. Whatever He puts on your heart, and same for you. If you see me look like I'm getting ready to, uh, if I if you hadn't, I've been praying for a while, and you haven't heard a certain thing. The Lord put it on your heart as you touching and agreeing with me in prayer. I want you to pray as well. Because there's power in numbers, and once you touch and agree with me, every word is going to be established. Um, I normally don't watch a lot of things live because mainly I don't have time. But there was um, a channel on YouTube that's called Trumpet News, and I thought it was interesting that it was called Trumpet News. But they had, like, live YouTube um hurricane coverage of, I mean, it, it was just the things that they were doing in the middle of this hurricane, uh, it was just wrenching. I'm like, why are you doing it? I mean, there were power live power lines that were coming down in front of them, and they were exploding and, and just, but... The, the, the whole point of the message is, I cried earlier because there's a there's an urgency in my spirit to pray. There's a lot of us at the TVs and we watching, and and I'm I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that because you must watch therefore and and here's key point and pray. We need to pray for those who are spiritually blind whose hearts are not ready, who needs to repent. 
there's a lot of people that's living in sin. And, and what grieves me to the point of crime is that the other people don't see the urgency in this. And you hear, and I'm hearing stories backwards and forwards. Oh, you know, we we decide to stay. Um, my family decided to stay. So did a couple of mine, but the Lord had me to warn my cousin that lives in Houston. And um, I know she had patience today, but she's coming home. <laughs> Here to Shreveport. Louisiana is going to definitely... Uh, be affected by this hurricane in some way, form, or fashion. Whether by, um, I'm hearing that we're supposed to get up to six inches of, almost six inches of rain. But when I'm hearing people saying, we decided to stay, the Lord revealed to me this, that the, the reason that they're deciding to stay. Why these people are not getting out of harm's way? Why have they decided to stay? And the Lord revealed to me this. You know, there are a lot of people, there's a group of people that say that they're walking with the Lord. And, you know, they basically, they, they heard of him. But they have, they're not walking with the Lord because if you're walking with the Lord, you will know that this is not the time to test your faith. And well, well, well you may be saying, well, well Nikki, I mean, you got to believe in nothing shall come not thy dwelling. I do believe in that. But let me give you scriptural prime examples, and this is what the Lord shared with me. This is the hour of judgment. This is the ninth hour. The distress of nations, all these um, killings, and you see these vehicles running over crowds, it just didn't happen once. It's continued to happen because we're in the ninth hour birth pain. The earthquakes, it just didn't happen once. They're continuing to happen. The shootings, the killings, the riots, the, it's continuing to happen. I could spend all day talking about how uh, uh, families, uh, you hear me say all the time that your enemies would be that of your own household, how parents are killing their children and children are killing their parents. And there's more stories of it, of, of people are hurting their own children. It's just not one story. It's, it's happening even more uh, drug addiction. There is this increase of people with with overdose is overdosing on drugs, and it's like an epidemic. This thing is not just happening once; it's continuing to happen, happen because we're in the night hour judgment. But here's what the Lord has showed me: when Noah was instructed by the Lord, because judgment was coming. Judge, this is the ninth hour judgment. Judgment was coming. He spoke to Noah. Noah was a man that walked with the Lord. The Lord had favor and mercy upon him and his family. Noah was obedient to build that ark for the safety. Noah didn't say, the Lord knows me. I walk with the Lord, so I'm going to weigh this out. I'm going to try this out. Let me give you another prime example. Lot and the angels, when they went into Sodom and Gomorrah, and they went in, but it, see, this is the same thing, even going back to Noah. It, in Noah day, he was warning. He was preaching repentance. He was telling them the same thing. Enoch, the same thing. He was telling them judgment is coming, but they ignored it. Why? Because they weren't walking with the Lord. They weren't hearing him. They weren't hearing the voice of God. And any messenger bringing the message of, 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 of the Lord, warning you, telling you, hey, judgment is coming. you you, you got to return and repent and turn your life around because judgment is coming. Y'all better come in this ark. We ain't going in there. He don't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. And some of us are, are getting that even now. 
Lot, when the angels, when they went in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot didn't decide, and the angels didn't decide, the angels didn't say, hey, uh, we from heaven, and we know that the Lord is going to take care of us. We, this is not a time to press and try your faith. If the if you if the, you're walking with the Lord, the Lord tells you to move. You would have to move. You got there is what I'm saying is there's times where He will have you not to just sit and stay, because as we all know, there were people of Hurricane Katrina. People were warning to leave. They decided to stay. You people of the lower lines, Louisiana and and and, and Texas. The, I, I put up a warning video yesterday. Don't stay and think that, hey, I'm going to be fine. Lot left. The angels left. And he took his family. With, but when the wife looked back, we already know the story. Why? Because judgment was pronounced. But they wanted, they didn't listen. They wanted to live the same way. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. They wanted to live how they want to live. And 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 the messengers of God was there. Hey, don't do this. Don't 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 come against the angels like that. Look, please quit living the, the, the way you're living. Uh, the message of repentance sounds harsh sometimes, but the message of repentance is this: the building is on fire. And it may not sound like love, but love is telling you the truth. Love is telling you, I don't want you to burn. You need to come out of that building. A lot of people hear me street preaching. They was like, ain't nobody, you know, I've heard people say, ain't nobody going to come to Christ with that. It's the same message. Enoch, Moses, I mean, uh, who was Noah preached. Same message. We got to, we, we got to, you have to have a relationship with Christ. You have to be so close to him that he will be able to open your ears so you could hear what the spirit is saying. It shouldn't have been nobody in the, in, especially in the, 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 that's right there at the Gulf of 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 the line of fire and not moved out of the way. There's pictures in the Bible. If we're in the hour of judgment, you already know that if all these other things that are happening in the world, if they're continuing to happen, got me spitting. If they're continuing to happen, we need birth pain. That means that these hurricanes is going to be more aggressive and intense, just like the acts of violence in the United States. The eclipse was a forewarning. He said if, if there is going to be a sign, it will be the sign of the prophet Jonah. What was that sign? There was an eclipse in Jonah days. That's why the Lord was there to protect him from the heat of the sun. But right now, I need you guys to reach out to the S-O-N. It's not time to be given into the things of the cares of this world and not paying attention to the signs of what's going on. See, that was the reason why the Lord used the sky and say, you can't discern the signs of the times. But in Luke 21, he talks about, and I like that version better because it, it says, and and. Uh, Matthew 24 and Mark 13, they all talk about it, but I just like the book of Luke, okay? But anyway, he says there will be signs in the suns, in the moons, in the stars, basically in the heavens, and the seas roaring with perplexity. Did we not just have signs in the moon and in the sun? And then he said the earth will be shaken. I don't know if many of you heard that Irving, Texas, had an earthquake today, 3.1. There was a 4.4 earthquake in the Atlantic, okay? 
Notice that as soon as this eclipse went by, here comes Harvey. That was just a tropical depression. Then it went from a tropical depression to a tropical storm. Now it, it hits land. It's hitting land at a cat four. And you decide to, 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 to sit tight. I know the Lord is going to take care of me. That is not what Lot said. That is not what Noah said. Somebody better wake up. I was grieved in my spirit. I was, I was, it, it, it was not grieved. It, it was a, 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 a mourning for the people because there's going to be a lot of people that lose, lose their life, and they don't have to. You don't have to. You're not in tune with the Spirit. You, you, you need a relationship with Christ. The message of the day is repent. That's what the eclipse was for. It was a foreshadowing of what's to come. A wake-up call. You better get ready. And I don't think it's no coincidence that even after that same scriptures in the, in the book of Luke 21, when he gets through talking about the sun and the moon and the stars, and then it, it comes down, it says the sea's roaring, and we got that, and then it comes down, and right after that he says this, the Lord says this, he says, and when you shall see these things, hmm, look to the heavens for your redemption Draw us not. Hmm. But you want to test your faith. I pray all is well. I really do. I don't want nothing to happen to anybody because the Lord says it is his will that no man should perish, but the Bible also says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. I want you to, before we start, I want each and every person, after this video, I'm going to do another video when I'm praying. I want each and every person to read Psalms 91. And I want you to tell the Lord that you pray in that prayer and just lift up as who you want, as many as you want. Pray the prayer of Psalms 91 first. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to do my very best in an intercessory prayer. And I want you guys to reach and touch and agree in prayer. If I, if I stop, I want you, and I'm talking or whatever, I, I may not even talk. I might just, you continue to pray. Let's step up the prayer. Don't just pray for 10 minutes. Pray for an hour. Jesus died at the ninth hour, but before he went to the cross, he asked, He told the disciples, he said, can you just pray for one hour? Can we just pray for one hour? I'm going to try to do my very best um, in, in prayer. I don't know how long it's going to be, but... Um, I'm just going to pray <laughs> because it's time to pray. Um, and, you know, like I said, you, you don't have to, you know, pray this real formal prayer. You know, Lord, I lift up Bubba and I, I'm, I'm just saying something to you right now. Lord, I lift them up to you. I bleed the blood of Jesus over them. The Lord hears that. If you're one to like to use a lot of scriptures, I do. I, hey, that's that's just the way I was taught. That's all I know how to do. You know, I come from a word church, and, and that's all been implanted in me. But the Lord also says if we pray to our Father prayer, he already knows what we need before we even ask. So what that tell you? 
He said, don't pray like the hypocrites who pray to be seen. Definitely, when I come to you and pray, you're going to be able to tell. She ain't praying to be seen. She coming straight from her heart. I may even mess up a bit. But that's not the point. The point is to be obedient to what you're feeling in the spirit and to pray. Pray. Touch and agree and pray. You don't hear me praying about something and the Lord lay it on your heart, pray. Pray. You want to pray in the spirit by all means. <laughs> pray in the spirit. Because there's power in numbers. I love you guys. See you in a bit. We're going to pray. <laughs>